Hey everybody, it's Lala. Hey everybody, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great. I am doing good myself. I want to say to all my subscribers and to my new subscribers, hey, hey, hey. I thank y'all so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. I do appreciate that, y'all. And I want to say to everyone who have left comments under my videos, just expressing y'all thoughts and expressing y'all opinions and just speaking how y'all feel about whatever situation I may be speaking on, I want to say I do appreciate that, y'all. And I ask that y'all to keep it coming because you already know at the end of the day, your thoughts is your thoughts and your opinions is your opinions. My thoughts is my thoughts, hmm, and my opinions is mine, and it's just what it is. As I said before, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great, keeping them hands washed and sanitized, and you know what I'm saying, basically staying out of the way, okay? And I want to say, as y'all can see, yesterday I did go live. It wasn't nothing, you know what I'm saying? It was just a, a random, just like a pop-up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to catch them slipping because everybody be asking me to go live and watch this. That's what it was, y'all. But for everyone who said they didn't get a notification, cool, cool, because I will do it again. Now, I don't know when I will, but I will. And before I do it, I probably will let y'all know because, you know what I'm saying, I don't think that that was cool that, you know what I'm saying, YouTube be tripping, tripping, and y'all don't get y'all notifications. Like, what the, what the, like, where they do that at? So, for everybody that didn't get it, I will do that again for y'all. I'm just saying. Could be tomorrow, could be the next day. However, I will do that for y'all. Um, and everybody that did join in that live yesterday, I appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, showing support. Ugh, can't even talk. Showing support. I appreciate that. And that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, let's get into this reaction, okay? It's enough chit-chat. Let's get into it. So anyway, I seen a video. Strong Mommy Chrissy packing up making that move to Texas. Y'all, let me say real quick, as far as her, <laughs> and no, I don't feel sorry for her, but as far as her being just her, because sometimes, do y'all ever sit back and watch these ladies or, you know what I'm saying, try to put yourself in their shoes just for, just like a, a, a moment just to see like, damn, how could I, well, I seen uh, the video that she had up. She was getting ready to make her move to Texas and she was showing all the stuff that she had and how she had to load it up plus her eight kids and make this 20 hour drive. What the? F I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> it's for a moment I put myself to be like, how did the hell? How? But see, that's why I say, y'all, it, it all be a learning experience. But at the same time, some of these chicks, they just don't catch it and just don't get it. You get what I'm saying? And I don't see how you can. Because like I said, that, that move that she did when she was pregnant, okay, and her son and her daughter had to help her, that should have been an eye opener right there. So why, you know what I'm saying? I can't do this shit by myself. I just can't. You know what I'm saying? Because... Moving is 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 something major and something big. You get what I'm saying? And that's like me. I sometimes I move somewhere and I don't, I don't really, you know, once I get there, I after like a year or two, I don't be want to be here, but when I think about what I got to do to go to the next place, I be like, "Shit, <laughs> this shit ain't that bad over here. It's cool. It's okay cuz it ain't what you think. And, and she said, y'all, she only had eight hours to get her stuff at the house over there. Do you think eight hours is enough time to get your stuff? I'm just saying. It takes eight hours to, to, to try to pack up, get stuff together. So I know if, if it took eight hours, she ain't cleaning them people property. She ain't do none of that. Because eight hours, all you got, you trying to get all them kids stuff together, get all that baby stuff together and try to pack and put it's, it's that's stressful but at the end of the day you bring you bring shit upon yourself so i can't feel sorry for you but i just hope she got everything that them kids need because i just feel like ain't no way you can do all that shit in eight hours because when you got your mind focused on some shit time run just like that you get what i'm saying i don't see how you can do it <laughs> so anyway i seen a video and she was showing like the coolers and stuff and how she got a pack but i want to know where's all this shit gonna go you get what I'm saying? How is you making this big move from Vegas to Texas with all these kids and a baby? It's uncomfortable 
Okay, y'all all gotta be packed in, and I'm I'm pretty sure they packed in, y'all, because you you gotta think about the baby is in his car seat. If this it seem like this light is going in and out every time I move, I don't know. But the baby is in his car seat. You got Blaze, he's supposed to be in the car seat. You got June Bug, I believe he's supposed to be in a car seat too, doing it the right way. Okay. Then you got the rest of them. Where are they supposed to fit? I'm just saying. Okay, where are all of they, where are all of them supposed to fit? Then you got coolers, and I ain't talking about small coolers. You got big coolers. You got clothes and, and, and a blow-up mattress. You need to pack down everything to make this big drive to Texas. Do you think about your kids and their well-being? Because for one, I wouldn't want to keep my kids in the car that long trying to make a, a, a move to a whole nother state. I'm just saying. You got so many options of where you could have moved instead of coming to Texas. I'm just saying. I don't think it's the right time to make that move. It's just like, if you ain't got enough, how can you make this big old move? 20 hours with a, with, with a small child, small kids. How do, I hope... <laughs> I hope they was getting rooms or something because how can you stay stuck in a car for that long? I don't know, y'all. <laughs> it's crazy to me because it's like, okay, if you didn't want to be in Vegas, okay, what's the next state that's kind of closer to Vegas or, or what's kind of, you know what I'm saying, in between so where you don't have to move too too far? And another thing that crossed my mind, y'all put in the comments down below, because I don't know how, you know what I'm saying, looking at houses and shit online go without looking at them, but how can she purchase a house, and I ain't saying purchase, but how can she find a house without actually looking at it? Don't you got to look at it? Or you could just see what it looked like online, because see, I ain't that type of person, because online can fool you. I need to see what this looked like. Like <laughs> real life up close. You get what I'm saying? I need to see what that tub look like, that bathroom, because if stuff is not bright, white and clean, how it's supposed to be, I don't want it. So it's just like, how is she making this move without even looking? Unless she just searched it online, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how that work, y'all. So like I said, put in the comments down below because I'm the type of person, like I said, I need to see the shit for myself before I give you any money, before I sign that line, I need to see it. So, do y'all actually think that she is going to take Texas to, I hope she ain't trying to be with her husband. Y'all, I hope she not. But at the end of the day, these chicks don't learn. You know, I am not finna chase no man who ain't chasing me. Okay, period. And I'm not finna chase no man who, who left me. So it's like, what's the phone calls and you trying to talk to him to let him know that you come into Texas, you trying to move closer so it can be convenient for him to see his kids and convenient for you. Oops. Did I, did I catch that? Convenient for her? Does she want to be closer to him? Cause yes, he's in Texas, y'all. She said he was in Colorado at the moment, but he resides in Texas. Is it Fort Worth? He's somewhere in Texas, y'all. He's out here somewhere. So is she trying to make it convenient? She always have made it convenient for these dudes. That's why they always do what they do. And at the end of the day, they are able to leave. Because <laughs> they ain't doing shit for you at the beginning. <laughs> they ain't got nothing to be here for. Yeah, kids, but... <laughs> Kids don't make nobody stay. They still leave, okay? So now you driving way to Texas with this little stuff. Did you get all your kids stuff? I'm just saying, I don't understand, y'all. That's that that there makes you sit down and actually think on it. Like, why is you moving to Texas? Why? If that's the case, you should have just moved back home. You know what I'm saying? Why not move from where you from? Make everything better, more easier for you, period. But you want to come to Texas, I guess, y'all. And that's just me thinking she could say whatever she want and try to lie and say, oh, he's not, he's, yes, he's from Texas, but he's in Colorado. What he in Colorado for? No, that man is in Texas. And you called him them three times to let him know. You coming to Texas. You coming home. I'm coming closer. You know what I'm saying? So that way, he's able to see his kids. 
And that way, you know, whatever happens, happens. That's all I can say. She's probably chasing him. I don't think she's chasing Jazz, y'all. I, I really don't. It's probably more of her husband. At the end of the day, she really ain't got nobody. Her mama caught flight, too. Her mama said, Woo! Enough is enough, okay? <laughs> I can't deal with getting woke up at my sleep at night <laughs> to gotta get my shit and go. <laughs> I'm finna go somewhere where I know I'm stable. I don't blame you, mama. I don't blame you. I leave, too, okay? But it's crazy because it's like, man, she not learning, y'all. And so what if you move down here to Texas and shit don't go great? Then what you going to do? Move to another state? They're still not having stability for them kids because you just bouncing them around like they some ball or something. You know what I'm saying? And when people come in your comments and tell you, you need to purchase a house, you need to purchase a house. First of all, the reason why you need to purchase a house is because you have a whole lot of kids, okay? Coming out and rent, renting think, renting houses through people, a lot of people ain't going to want rent, to rent to you. Once they know how many kids you got, they not because they worry about damage to their property. They worry about a lot of stuff. And say, for instance, okay, well, if you couldn't rent a house, well, maybe I have to find a little townhome or apartment. Apartment complex ain't going to rent to you when you got all those kids. They, they really not. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only so many people within the household. And I think you get some apartments that actually do go to four bedrooms. But, you know, what's the capacity? How many people can it actually be in the household? I'm just saying, it's all hard, y'all. And that's when I said, like, you know, I know she sits and <laughs> breaks down and cries sometimes. I know she do. Why she get on here to all these people that don't know her? And try to show her ass and act her ass like she just that shit. And you know what I'm saying? She got all her screws together and it is what it is. When she cut that camera off, she's a hot mess. I know she break down. Because if that was me looking at the situation and looking like, man, I got to pack all this stuff. It's just me. I really don't have no help. You know what I'm saying? My kids are asleep. I really can't ask them. And I just got to make a way and figure it out. I'm going to break down. Because it's still hard on one person. I'm trying to sleep, but I still got to deal with a baby. And I got the kids. How I'm going to do this long drive and I'm the only one driving. So somewhere in there, you're not really strong the whole time. You're weak. You know, you break down. You break down. She breaks down, y'all. But when she come on this camera, yeah, yeah. That ain't what it is. That's why I say it's fake shit, y'all. Show us that real side of how hard it can be sometimes. And it, why I say hard is because your oldest is 10. You get what I'm saying? A 10-year-old can only do so much, help you so much. You know what I'm saying? You don't have nobody to help you through this time. But <laughs> you ain't going to have no help because you run everybody off. You run everybody off. You run your husbands off. You run your baby daddies off. You run your friends off. You run your brothers and sisters off. You run your whole mama off. Off. She ran her mama off too, y'all. She running everybody off. And it's only a matter of time. Come on to Texas. You gonna run Jazz off too. <laughs> Probably not. Jazz need her. Jazz need her for style and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when they come together and if they close like that, they'll find out what true friends is really about, okay? Jazzy will really find out who she is and what she really about. Just the way, y'all. Can't wait. So, yeah, you know, I feel bad for the kids, y'all. Gotta be stuck in a whole SUV truck or however for a whole 10 hours, 20 hours, driving to a whole nother place. Something that they continue to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's how, in the mix of that, you lose things. You know what I'm saying? You probably had some and couldn't get it, and you left it at that house. It's just sad, y'all. And it's funny how she was saying, like, oh, at the old house, she left some of her beds, and she left this and that because it was broke. You make all this money, why you didn't replace it? You get what I'm saying? If you know your couch is broke, why the hell you didn't replace it? If you know them kids' beds was broke... Why you didn't replace it? You want these people over here to buy new beds and all this type of stuff. Why you couldn't do it and replace it? You just made 
you made it work, right? So what do you do this time? You make it work to get better. I'm just saying, y'all. It is what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> I want to see this big move, child. Big move to Texas. I hope you're ready for the Texas life, child. Texas is what it is. Anyways, y'all, look like my mind is going blank. I got shit else to talk about on her. You know, I just feel like, man, that's rough and tough. Driving 20 hours with little kids, period. Got to go to the bathroom. Got to stop just to get out and stretch. You know, got to think about how are they traveling. You know, I know they squished and pecked up. Ooh, she got to do better. Even if she don't want to do better for herself, she at least got to do better for her kids. You know what I'm saying? This should be an eye opener for her to where she, you done got kicked out and on your ass and spent all this money over here. And you got to. I can talk all good sense all day, but they'll never get it. But by us watching, it's like, damn, you need to wake up. But you too busy. You know, I'm that bitch. I'm still that bitch. You want to be that something that you're not. You got a lot of learning to do. But at the end of the day, like I say, po babies, po babies, and po kids. Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, y'all, if y'all like this video, let's throw them thumbs up. And if y'all have not, I ask that y'all do subscribe because it's Lala. Peace.